Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Road to 56 as Ireland. I'm Mace 8 and I'm trying something different this time. Going motorised only. I've seen a few people do this as ma as majors. I think I've seen Sayuki and doing it as Germany. I'm doing it as Ireland because, well, I'm Irish. Now, there are a couple of um ground rules I'm going to set my... I'm going to set myself. I do have this basic infantry division, nothing special. I'm going to keep that to try and build up some XP. But, I'm trying to make this a little easier on myself because I don't have a lot of manpower or industry. I'm going to use a completely different template for the home, for the home guard who will just sit in the island. Basically, the, basically this garrison unit that rode to fifths if six adds, they are useless for anything but sitting on a port, or mountains, or cities. Guess what we have? Well, guess what we have all here? Hills, mountains, cities, plains, but they do need to land, land there. Basically, that'll just sit, uh, save maybe 15% of manpower, infantry equipment, just to give myself an, a bit of a better chance. But I can only send motorized abroad. Now, I am going to let myself use close air support and a navy, but they're primarily, but their job is purely to support the army. So, to start with, I'm going to rush straight towards motorization efforts. So I can get so I can get motorized infantry. A time with them, I think. And I am gonna start off by just getting early truck. It's not much use, except maybe for supplies. And then electronic mechanical engineering and industry. This is this is bog standard stuff. Even a noob like myself can do this. Build up a few of the a few factories just to start. One thing that doesn't slightly irritate me about this mod is that they're very English. The voice lines they're using for for the Irish. Maybe I should look into. I don't know, voicing them myself or something. Now, one of the reasons I usually start with this general staff and then army reform is the training exercises, I can use them to just build up XP. It also means I will likely have all the requirements for some for some of these done by the time by the time they're unlocked. As in, you can see here, expand military capacity requires basic machine tools. Which I am researching, but I can't do that right now. on this as well and things are just going to travel along for now i'm just going to pause the recording and pick back up when something interesting happens so at the moment i'm currently waiting for army modernization i have gone and got support equipment now because i'm probably going to use the bows on one of these i am going to go with recon because in this mod we already have sniper team this is something that roads 56 adds is sniper teams which means that cavalry and motorized recon will actually buff in of motorized and regular infantry. Such a simple thing. Well, they'll also buff artillery as well, but that's added by the actual base game. Uh, so anyway, where was I? I'm gonna go with this concentrated industry because we don't tend to get air attacks a lot if we side with the allies. And we get more output. I usually, most most of the times I play Hearts of Iron 4, I go with Disperse just to avoid getting... Sorry, I just knocked over the microphone because I am a clumsy idiot. Sorry about that. Yes, I'm a moron. Anyway, as I was saying, I usually go with Disperse in the street just to avoid this dock, uh, bomb vulnerability thing. 
basically less chance of getting strap bottoms. But I'm gonna go with concentrated industry as iron because I think it just works better. So once I've got army modernization and motorization efforts, we should have enough to start with these. And I've I've found that usually I can get away with but basically to get this inviting American investors, German or Soviet, they do have to have their opinion of me at least fifty. Thing is, I found I found that I can hold off on that until I started this industrial build up because we have one very irritating debuff. The Irish Republic Army added a daily political protocol of 0.4 and reduced our stability by 10. Now, there are two ways we can go with this. One, one of which is go with being a foil. We have put a foil on the A in foil because fail or that means hick. Because if we do go into this path, we have to wait until well, the UK is at war with Italy, Germany, France, or the US, and then go down to these different focuses to get rid of it. However, it does pay off because infantry would um, infantry divisions get extra attack and defense. However, I don't think that applies to motorized. So I'm probably going to go with Fine Gael. Which means I can get rid of that debuff instant, pretty much instantly. But that's a that's a while away, so I'm just just gonna pause for now, recording for now. And so motorized have been re been researched. Still waiting for the full version to come out. Come or V eight rather. Can I go with the um? I'm not sure what difference this reliability makes to the actual motorized infantry but I'm going to go with composite carbo bed because it'll so maybe we can get more of it out and then all wheel drive no reason not to go with this and then this because fuel usage versus max speed fuel usage is just too good to pass up and extra breakthrough extra hardness hmm. This only applies to motorized rocket artillery, so it's no use to me. But this applies to motorized and mechanized. Makes them a little more expensive, but hey. The rest of these are not going to be much use to me. I'll deal with that later. Now that I have got this got motorization effort coming. And it's going to be a while away before I can actually use it because I haven't timed this as well as I'd like. Basically, my goal is to try and get some of the industry ones out of the way first. Might as well get fuel storage now because I'm going to need refineries. Like I said, try to get these industry related ones out of the way first so I can immediately try and chain as many focuses together as possible. So the way this has worked out, I can now start re researching for V8, which gives us motorized infantry. Still have another, I will still have another 30 days after that, after, which means I will have this production line ready to go, but focus is complete. So just to research expand military capacity which means I can now start producing artillery and trucks I need I'm gonna go straight into this invite American investors because I've re researched forward V8 I can then go straight into this for the extra civilian factory and get some motorized equipment after that probably won't have concentrated industry too by that point so I'll go in, I'll go into improve straight infrastructure, possibly expand civilian manufacturers depending on how it goes. They also hmm, also have a land option to choose. 
Usually when I'm playing as Ireland, I just go with superior firepower. There's just no question, it's straight up the best for us. But I'm going to go with Mobile Warfare this time. So I've just got the automo automobile industry now. What I do not have is upgrade industry. So I can't get the, this extra military yet. What I can do is just buy some time by improving the infrastructure, which builds extra structure and culture. I'm not going to bother building infrastructure this time around. I usually do just as things out but pretty much need I'm also researching um armored cars to try to try using them for recon instead of motorized infantry or motorized recon probably isn't gonna work out the way I think it will but let's just give it a try see how it works so I'm just designing my motorized infantry but I and I haven't added any any recon yet. This is what um this is our base baseline. It's a twenty width seven seven two. Used to be the old meta, still works. Doesn't require too much optimization these days. It's good enough. Probably a better way, but it'll do for now. Now, if I add motorized recon, you can see that defense will go up quite a bit. Fuel capacity up a bit, a little bit of extra HP. Soft attack goes up by about 7.4. A little bit of extra heart attack, a little bit of extra breakthrough. If I go with light armored recon, I get even more soft attack, a little bit of extra heart attack. Not much extra defense. But a good chunk of extra breakthrough, some armor, some piercing that I wouldn't get otherwise. And some extra recon, but that's too useful. Does lower organization slightly, but not much. So I think I'm actually going to go with light armored recon, like I said I was going to do. I could go with support artillery just for each to buff this, buff this even more because this only requires 12 artillery pieces and yet it adds another, what was it, 16 and a half soft attack. Like, support artillery is generally considered one of the best support battalions or support companies, whatever, because it provides a lot of bang for your buck. But I'm going to leave that for now. But I still don't have a, an industry line for the anyway, so that's a while away. So I'll also start getting, I'm also going to get a couple of um, refineries because we're going to need at least one for now because we're going to need the fuel and the wood. So the election has just happened, and I've gone with Fine Gael Triumphant because I can get rid of this. Fire away debuff immediately. And they're going to go into this reclaim treaty ports and the error act to get rid of the trade war. Then start going down here. Probably going to end up accepting dominion status. The annoying thing there is I can't get some um, Northern Ireland that way. But I can join very quickly and get into the war quicker. Now, I've chosen to go with relief of command rather than motorization drive because this just gains me extra XP regardless of what I do. Now I might change this later to uh, to get some extra experience from combat for motorized, but it's not that it's not that big of a deal. As far as this goes, I'm not gonna be using tanks. So this Panzer Leader trait gain, heavy tank, uh, tank training experience, worthless to me. Bold attack is what I'm going to go with because the other general I have, Hugo McNeil, he's only level one. 
but he gains XP 150% faster until he reaches level 3. So he'll get an extra attack. That's not to be sneezed at. So now I've got my first motorized infantry division, the first Thunderbolt motor division. So I've gone, I've gone with this 7-2 setup, armored recoil. I, sh I should show this in the infantry design. Going with field hospital because I don't have a lot of manpower. It'll allow me to claw that back when they lose it. Engineers, trenchmen's helpful. But it's more the the mobility buffs on certain terrains. Support anti air, that's just considered a S tier because it provides a lot of bang for the buck. Light armored recon, and then once I've got the spare support equipment, which I don't right now, I'm going to go with this um, logistics company because one, it'll reduce supply and fuel consumption. Two. One thing the mod adds is this field anti-vehicle kit, which means that all motorized and mechanized infantry will do extra heart attack, and it'll double their piercing. Now I've just got rid of the blue shirts, i.e. our homegrown Nazis of this era, and they joined the, the British Commonwealth just because I can get quicker that way. Then I'm not sure if I'm good. I'm probably gonna go for this agricultural pasturing because that lack of resource penalty will be kind of helpful, especially with some of the. Especially since I don't have a way to produce chromium or tungsten or chromium for that. Then I'll probably. I'm not sure if I'll go with protectionism or. Market. This does massively increase our output and oh, basically that just adds an extra five percent onto our output factories and production research speeds. Whereas this just gives me a flat straight buff, a straight buff to. Research posts. Probably go with this actually. You know, this this great bring me too much and the arms purchase already. But anyway, after I've got the after I've got this at least, I'm gonna start going down down here, get all these, and then go into this expanding the air force support. Start researching early destroyers, but might have been a mistake. So having now joined the British Commonwealth, now actually got a couple of extra factories. Two extra civilian and one extra military. That's helpful. And I decided to hold off on these for the time this area here for the time being. Go through here because these have absolutely no downside to how to choose. Going at this, so I can then go into reform taxes, which gets me X our game, then new schools and teaching, and then focus assessing. I've started researching the aircraft designer stuff. So the Czech Republic has been, or Czech yeah, has been, next Germany. I'm setting the cavalry corps down here to lend a bit of extra force in North Africa. Push this map. Light things up a bit. I know I'm going to need this sooner or later. We only have four cavalry. I call them cavalry. Still trying to reform the taxes so I can get some extra fiscal power. 
Just spent on an elusive gentleman to try and update my spy agency because we are going to need more. Really annoying thing is I can't actually Yeah, not the time to be touring, really. I'm going to start spying on the Italians. Ah, uh, he can't. He can't handle the heat. He says. Yeah, supply is going to be a massive problem here. And I'm going to get this desert and jungle clothing now just to get out of the way. This is something that Road to 56 adds. And since I have the... Machine guns. This is going to be absolutely crap, but it'll do for now. So I'm going to need to build a couple Actually, they're not as slow as the... Um... Actually, I think I might just need to start saving my political power again. Extensive conscription for economy. Another spy would be really handy, right? Okay, and I'm going to go down this mobile infantry path here because tanks aren't any use to me. Especially since this increases supply range. And then naturally I'm going to go with... Probably modern Blitzky would be more useful than flexible structure. Oh, I haven't actually this has been changed from the mod. Because hmm. previously what this would do would be increase your verbal population plus this branch. What's this get me? Station back low. Yes, this is all tanks. It does do armor cars as well, but less attrition, less terrain penalties. Every rate. Ooh, this is nice. Breakthrough and soft attack. Hmm. Flying speed, extra reinforcements. I think I'll go with flexible structure down the road. 
This does also increase their speed as well, so we've got that going for us. And I think I, I, that one coming up in a minute. So at the next auto save, I am just going to pause this episode here and that will that'll be it for this one. I'll see you in the I'll see you in the next one. Long goodbye.